don't, don't let the, your local lawyer in, in Sydney tell you about this 50-page watertight contract. It might not even get read. So you know, break it down. Think of it as a memo of understanding. Get it four pages or less. And when I talk about being bilingual, I don't have it like two pages English, two pages Chinese. What I would do is a, like a paragraph or a couple sentences in, in English, translate it into Chinese, and then a signature for initial it or chop it. And then I don't just hand the document to the supplier via email and say, get back to me. Let's do, a, let's do a Skype call or let's do a video call or let's meet in person at the trade show and go through each of these items one by one. And I also like to do it in front of their peers because um, if a vendor knowingly breaks the terms of contract, he's going to lose a lot of face to his peers. So I like to make a, a, signing, a signing ceremony something special. I'm buying lunch, guys. Drinks are on me. Let's bring a couple of your key employees, and let's do this signing ceremony together. And then we go over each of the points one by one as a group. So if the general manager um, cheats me or breaks the terms of the contract that we're explained in such easy terms for everybody to understand. His employees are going to know that he's a cheat as well. So actually that loss of face sometimes has more influence than the fear of lawyers. Okay. Um, appropriate jurisdiction. 